Joan Legend and Kelly Clarkson are both holiday music masters in their own right. Together, the voice coaches put a new, modern spin on Frank Loser's 1944 Christmas song, Baby, It's Cold Outside, that's been listened to millions of times since it was released. Featured on Legend's Christmas album, Legendary Christmas, the duo performed the updated song as a duet on The Kelly Clarkson Show and The Voice in December 2019. Around this time, the modernized version of Baby, It's Cold Outside faced a flurry of reactions. But the controversy surrounding Baby, It's Cold Outside certainly didn't start with their version. Folks have been debating the lyrics for years. For legend, he sought to rewrite a classic holiday song through the ears of a listener today. Read on to see how the All of Me singer tweeted the song and how he responded to the reactions to his version. Legend worked with comedian, actress, and former SNL writer Natasha Rothwell to update the lyrics in Baby It's Cold Outside to make them more current with the times and less suggestive. In the beginning of the updated song, for example, Clarkson sings, I've got to go away, and Legend responds, I can call you a ride. Originally, the male voice sang, but baby, it's cold outside. Later in the song, as Clarkson sings, my mom will start to worry. Legends replies with, I'll call the car and tell him to hurry. In the original, the male voice doesn't offer a ride home and sings, beautiful, what's your hurry? Additionally, when the woman sings about perhaps having another drink, Legends' version responds with it's your body and your choice, while the original sings, put some records on while I pour. Some of the more problematic lyrics in the original song, say what's in this drink, and baby don't hold out, and the answer is no, are completely omitted from the updated version. When Legend first released his updated version of Baby It's Cold Outside in 2019, the world was in the midst of the hashtag MeToo movement, with survivors speaking out against and raising awareness about sexual violence. And though some radio stations had banned Loser's Virgin in 2018 due to the original lyrics, Legend's updated version caused reactions as well. In an interview with The Guardian, Legend said he found the reaction interesting. The song was supposed to be silly. He told the publication, It wasn't supposed to be preachy at all. I never disparaged the old version. During an appearance on The Tonight Show, Legend told Jimmy Fallon he looked at the song with 2019 eyes as he was rewriting it with Rothwell. We thought it'd be fun to just do a new version, make it fun, update the lyrics to be more current. So we talked about ride-sharing services and we make a joke about why you still live at home with your mom, he said. Some people were just so upset that we would mess with this sacrosanct version of the original song. Speaking to NBC News a year before Legend released his version, Loser's daughter, Susan, defended her father's original song and said the song should be looked at in the context of the time. It was 1944, she said. My father wrote it because when he and my mom had parties where everybody had to have an act to entertain the guests. Ultimately, Legend told people there's no side to be on, and it's just another version of the song. As for Clarkson, she said on her talk show in 2019, We liked the original, but we noticed a lot of people didn't, and so we were like, let's give them another option or whatever, before adding cheekily, and apparently, we killed Christmas. For the record, Christmas is not killed, and you can listen to Clarkson and Legend's updated Baby, It's Cold Outside in the video above. Few songs in holiday music history have sparked as much debate as the classic duet, Baby, It's Cold Outside. Originally written in 1944 by Frank Loser, the playful call-and-response song between a persistent host and their hesitant guest has endured decades of renditions. Yet, in recent years, the lyrics have drawn criticism for themes some find problematic, prompting discussions about its relevance in modern times. In 2019, John Legend and Kelly Clarkson collaborated on a reimagined version of the song for Legend's A Legendary Christmas Album. They revised the lyrics to reflect a more consensual, respectful dynamic while maintaining the song's flirtatious charm. Their efforts were praised by many, but also met with some resistance. Now, years later, the duet's updated lyrics remain a hot topic. Let's dive into the story behind their revision and unpack what these changes mean for the song's legacy. When Loser penned Baby, It's Cold Outside, in the 1940s, the song was a playful depiction of romantic banter, characteristic of the time. 
It featured a male wolf persuading a female mouse to stay a little longer, despite her repeated mentions of needing to leave, while intended as lighthearted. Some lines, like say, what's in this drink, have taken on more sinister connotations in today's cultural context, sparking critiques that the song normalizes coercion. The debate reached a tipping point in recent years, with radio stations pulling the song from their holiday playlists. The backlash opened the door for artists like Legend and Clarkson to revisit the classic and give it a contemporary twist. When Legend and Clarkson set out to record their version of Baby It's Cold Outside, their goal was to honor the song's original essence while addressing modern sensibilities. Legend, known for his progressive views and lyrical depth, partnered with songwriter Natasha Rothwell to reimagine the lyrics. Kelly and I didn't want to strip the song of its fun, flirty nature, Legend explained in an interview. We just wanted to ensure it felt more in line with what we want to sing to our own kids someday. Clarkson echoed these sentiments, adding, It's a do-it that's supposed to be playful, but we wanted to make it more about mutual respect and empowerment. Love and flirtation can absolutely coexist with consent. These revisions transformed the do-it from a negotiation to a supportive conversation, without losing the song's flirtatious spark. The updated Baby It's Cold Outside received a mixed reception upon release. Many fans applauded Legend and Clarkson for modernizing the classic, praising their commitment to creating a version that aligns with evolving cultural values. One reviewer wrote, John Legend and Kelly Clarkson have shown how to honor the past while embracing the present. Their version breathes new life into a song that was in danger of being left behind. However, not everyone was on board. Traditionalists argued that the changes stripped the song of its original charm, labeling the revisions as overly cautious. Some even questioned whether altering a classic was necessary, citing the song's original context as a product of its time. Singer Dean Martin's daughter, Dina Martin, was among those who spoke out. You don't change the lyrics to a classic, she said in an interview. The song was written in a different era, and it should be appreciated as such. Legend and Clarkson addressed the criticism with grace, emphasizing that their version was never intended to replace the original. We're not here to erase history, Legend said. We just wanted to offer an alternative for people who might feel more comfortable with a modern version. Legend and Clarkson's Baby, It's Cold Outside, isn't just a song, it's part of a broader conversation about how society revisits and reinterprets cultural artifacts. As views on gender dynamics, consent, and respect evolve, so too does the way we engage with art from the past. This reinterpretation is an example of how artists can balance tradition with progress. Rather than dismissing the song entirely, Legend and Clarkson chose to reimagine it in a way that resonates with today's audiences. In doing so, they've ensured that Baby It's Cold Outside can remain a beloved part of the holiday canon, even as cultural norms shift. What makes this rendition particularly compelling is the undeniable chemistry between Legend and Clarkson. Both powerhouse vocalists bring warmth and authenticity to the do-it, infusing the updated lyrics with charm and humor. Their camaraderie shines through in the playful back-and-forth delivery, making it clear that the song's heart remains intact. Clarkson's radiant vocals blend seamlessly with Legend's smooth tenor, creating a rendition that feels both fresh and familiar. In interviews, both artists spoke about the joy they found in collaborating. Working with John is like magic, Clarkson said. He has this ability to take something and make it feel timeless. Legend reciprocated the praise, noting, Kelly brings so much personality and energy to everything she does. She made this project so much fun. Nearly five years after its release, the Legend Clarkson rendition of Baby, It's Cold Outside continues to spark discussions and inspire new perspectives. It serves as a blueprint for how artists can revisit beloved works without sacrificing their integrity or relevance. This version has also opened the door for other holiday classics to be reimagined. As the cultural landscape continues to evolve, so too will the ways we interpret and celebrate the art that defines our traditions. For Legend and Clarkson, the experience was a testament to the power of collaboration and the enduring magic of holiday music. At the end of the day, Legend said, we wanted to create something that felt like home, for us, for our kids, and for anyone who listens. Baby It's Cold Outside has always been more than just a song. It's a reflection of the times in which it's sung.
with their reimagined version, John Legend and Kelly Clarkson have ensured that this holiday classic remains relevant and cherished for generations to come.